In this screencast, we'll see a brief overview of how to use the Replicate UI module. Replicate UI adds uh, user interface elements to the simple yet powerful Replicate API, as it says here. Uh, so Replicate is very similar to Node Clone, except it's basically giving you access to replicate or create a duplicate of anything that's an entity. Uh, so as it says, nodes, taxonomy terms, users, comments, files, etc. Uh, you can also get the replicate field collection module so that you can then delve into uh, field collection items, nested ones even, and, uh, and replicate them correctly. So something that is very difficult to do in node clone just based on the APIs, uh, which is why I've gone with replicate here. So you see uh, version 1.1, you have access to all of the following in terms of bringing in a user interface to replicate. Um, so I'll show a couple of these. First of all, if I go to, um, go to just one of the courses in my system here, and this is a work in progress, uh, just so you're aware. You see, when you add replicate, um, if you have permissions, you get a tab that says replicate. So if I hit replicate, you see that replicate node entity ID 18. Uh, what this will do is then take this item and actually create an exact copy of it um, and dig into the fields and make copies of everything in there. So if I go and I make that, uh, you'll see it said node 18 has been replicated to ID 714. Uh, it then redirects me to the new location. So this looks exactly the same, but I'm actually working with a new item. Um, it also takes into account field collections and digging into nested field collections. So, um, for example, I have a pretty complex content type here. It's a, uh, a node that then has a field collection called offering, and inside that field collection, there's another one called section. Uh, so what I was able to do right there with one click was, um, if I click edit, see it's actually a lot of information. Here. Um, so we've got a lot of fields in here, promotional screenshots and the like, uh, contact information. All of this has been replicated, including digging into these field collections. So all of these settings were also replicated. Uh, so you can do a lot very quickly with this. Um, it also has views integration, which what you get with views integration is you get a link that allows you to replicate uh, any entity. So in this case, I have this row. Is it representative of um, a field collection called offering? Uh, if I hit replicate on this, using the user integration, I see sure we're going to replicate, field collection item, and blah, 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 hit replicate. And it's going to go into that field collection and then replicate everything in the field collection below it. So now I've basically given myself an exact working copy of that field uh, and all the data below it. Uh, so you can replicate these, you can then edit them, delete, what have you. Um, another area of integration provides rules and we'll go into that, but it does have rules integration built in. Um, there's also integration with use bulk operations. So if I go to speed collection admin area, uh, add it. So this will see like add it. Use. And we're going to use this, edit this. And then we go to bulk operation field collection item in this case. And item, replicate item, there we go. And so we can do skip confirmation step for this one. Apply, save. And then we should have this also added to the field collections in that. So we can replicate items. So you could select all of these items and actually tell it to select everything. That's in there. Um, and then replicate them through this bulk operation. So pretty powerful stuff you can do very quickly. Um, it also, as I mentioned, adds it to the node form. It adds it to the field collection view if you can actually you know, sniff them out. <laughs> um, so here's, there's a field collection item, I can actually hit replicate on this and just replicate it that way through the tap approach. Um, and then it also opens up a callback. Uh, so in hook menu, there's actually a replicate and then what you pass it is the type and the uh, ID of what you want to replicate. 
and it'll replicate it for you. Um, now this is locked down pretty heavily. It goes through confirmation step. Um, the, the access, you'll see you have to have you know, access to the field. You have to be able to load it. You have to be able to view the current one, you know, all this good stuff. So it is locking it down. And then there's also a user access replicate entities uh, permission that needs to be granted. So even if you allowed people to replicate things, um, say via rules, they would still need to actually have the permission saying they can do it through user interface mechanisms. So there's a, an additional lockdown there. Uh, but that would allow you to do things like you know, pass replicates, replicate, and then node and 18. That'll pull up the user directly up to 18. Uh, same for user. So you get the idea. 